Have you ever experienced the unresponsiveness of any app in your Android phone? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Have you ever noticed that opening an app or visiting a website for the first time takes a long time? Do you know why this happens? Um, I don't know. <laughs> don't worry, you have come to the right place. The apps and the websites consist of scripts, various lines of codes, and the different media files. When we open an app or visit a website for the first time, all these things take time to load in the app or on the web page. But when we open that app or visit that website again, then it doesn't take that much of time. This is not happened because the phone's processor gets familiar with that app or that website. But because of the reserved sections in our phone storage that is used for the cached data. Cached data? What is it? Every app installed on our smartphone occupies some space in the phone's storage. The occupied space gets increasing every time when we open the app. This happens because of the progression or projects saved by the game or by the app and because of the cached data. When we open an app for the first time, the app generates some temporary data files from its home screen or landing page and saves them in its reserved space in the phone storage, which is quickly accessible and these are called cached data. On-page elements like images, videos, thumbnails, scripts and other media files take some time to load. So when these data are cached, the app need not to load them again, just it has to display them from storage, which reduces their loading time. The cache is nothing but a collection of temporary data files, consists of images, thumbnails, scripts and other media files that stored in our phone storage every time after opening an app or visiting a website. The type of data kept in these cache files differs from app to app and they are also app specific meaning that cache files of one app are worthless for another. These files are automatically created and safely stored in memory space that has been reserved for them. All of our gadgets that is smartphones, laptops, tablets have a certain amount of space reserved for storing these types of data for easy access. Cache memory also saves states. For example, if I close my Instagram app and reopen it one hour later without turning on my data connection, I will be able to scroll down and see posts that were previously loaded. Same thing happens with the Chrome browsers also. If I close Chrome browser in my phone and reopen it sometimes later, then it will show the exact tab and the exact sections of the web page, which I have closed the last time. This could be happened only because of the storing cache data by the app. Without cache, everything would need to reload. But these cache data are different from the data that are stored in the cache memory of a processor. The app's cache data are generated by the app and saved in the reserved space in the phone storage or in the C drive in a PC, so they can occupy even 1 GB or more space in the storage which memory is non-volatile. So these data are stored for a long time. On the other hand, a processor doesn't have that much of storage in its cache memory, hardly a few megabytes which is volatile in nature, meaning that whatever data it keeps will be erased once the device is switched off. If you want to know more about cache memory in a processor, then don't worry. You need not to go anywhere, because we already have made that video, just you have to watch it. The link is given in description, or you can watch it now by clicking the i button which is showing on the top right corner. Now let's talk about our current video. While we are enjoying faster load times because of cached data, 
but sometimes this cached data may create some problems and therefore as a solution you also need to delete them. Let's see those problems. Problem number one, storage problem. Every app installed on our smartphones contributes to the number of cache files. As the number of apps keeps increasing, these cache files begin to occupy a considerable amount of memory, for which our phone's limited storage can fill up quickly. Especially browsers and social media apps save a lot of data as cache files, which can occupy easily 1GB or more in our smartphone. So clearing cache files becomes necessary if your phone is running out of storage. Problem number 2. Unresponsive behavior of apps. Sometimes old cache files get corrupted and cause problems with the normal functioning of the app. As a result, app may lag or fail to start or even crash due to corrupted cache data. This could be happened after updating the app or installing the new update in operating system. So if any app is not working properly, then you should clear its cache files to fix these errors. Problem number 3. Security Threats Some apps, especially browsers, save private and sensitive information like login details or search history in cache files that poses a security threat. If someone else obtains access to these cache files, they might be able to use them to obtain private details. They might even exploit your identity to conduct fraud. To avoid these types of security threats, you have the option to clear apps cache. Problem number 4. Not loading fresh content. Sometimes because of old cache data, browsing app or social media app like Instagram stuck on the same feed and would not refresh and load fresh posts. So deleting cache files of that particular app will force the app to reload and display fresh content. Now these are the problems of having cache data, which could be solved by deleting the cache files when any one of these problems occurs. Don't worry, you will not lose any other app data such as websites logins or progression in the game. As cache data enhances our using experience and being saved by the apps every time after opening the app or visiting the websites, so constantly clearing cache data isn't a good decision. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give a thumbs up, otherwise thumbs down and put your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. And if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming video, get subscribed and smash that bell. Till then, bye bye, take care, have a great day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>